Hello everyone, my name is Aura and in this video I will show you how to add achievements to your game. And to be more exact, I am talking about Steam achievements. And since I'm using Unity myself, I will show you how to do it in Unity. Some of you might be thinking like, what's the point of adding achievements? Especially since these days, games seem to give you achievements for every step you take. I get that. But a lot of people still want to see them in games, and when implemented well, they are a great way to boost player satisfaction. Plus, they are really easy to add, so why not? Okay, let me show you how it's done. First of all, we need to set up the achievements in Steam's backend. So, go to your game's Steamworks page and navigate to the Achievements section there. This is where you will enter all the details for your achievements. You don't need a lot of materials for the achievement, but one thing you do need is a picture for the achievement, and it should also have two versions, one for the unlocked version and one for the locked version. So let's just quickly make a cool and a very professional looking achievement image. For best quality, the image should be 256 pixels wide and tall. Okay. Now that we have two versions of our achievement image, let's go ahead and create a new achievement. In here, we first need to come up with a unique identifier for our achievement. It doesn't really matter what you type in here, but try to come up with some sort of a naming system that is easy for you to manage. Then you can tie the achievement to a specific Steam stat, but this is not required. This can be useful if you want to have a progression stat that is visible to the player, so he or she can see, for example, okay, now I'm halfway to achieving the achievement. For basic achievements, feel free to leave this field empty. Then, next we want to set a name for the achievement, which will be visible for all players. Similarly, we also want to write a description, which will also be visible to all players. Then here you can define if you want the achievements to be set by a client or a game server. Let's leave it to client, that is by far the most common case. Then if you want, you can set the achievement to be hidden, so the players won't see it until they unlock it. Then as you can see by the error I got, you actually need to save the achievement before you add the images. So let's do that and then go back to add the images in. Great, so now we have all the details needed for that one achievement, so let's go ahead and publish these details. This is all you need to do in Steam's backend. Now we just need to be able to unlock that achievement in our game. And regarding that, first of all, since we want to unlock Steam achievements, we will need Steam integration in our game. I actually have a step-by-step -step tutorial on my channel how to add Steam integration into your game. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I highly recommend you go check it out. Having Steam integration in your game is a requirement to have Steam features enabled. Okay, so let's get into our game and assume you have Steam integration in your game. I am using FacePunch's Steamworks API, which I installed in the other video. So now that we are in our game, Let's go add some simple code for the achievements. I went ahead and wrote three methods for the achievement functionality. These are everything you need. And actually, if we want to be really minimalistic about it, we would only need these two lines to have all the functionality we need. I assume the method names are pretty self-explanatory, but the first one is for checking if an achievement has been unlocked. Then the second method is for actually unlocking the achievement. And the third one is for clearing an unlocked achievement. In practice, you will probably never need this, but this is also for testing purposes. So let's go ahead and test them out. Let's call our first method with our achievement identifier. We can see that the state is false, which is exactly what we want to see because we have not actually unlocked this achievement yet. Okay, let's see if we try to unlock it. Fantastic! We can even see our cool and professional little image down there. And if you now check the first method again, 
we can see that the state of that achievement is now true. Since we have already unlocked the achievement, unlocking it twice doesn't really do anything. For testing purposes, let's go ahead and try to clear the achievement. Alright, and now if we check the first method again, we can see that the state is now false, which means that we can now unlock the achievement again. Awesome, we are really achieving things here. You can now even see these achievements in your Steam client if you go check it out. That's it, that's all you need to do. There are more things you can do with achievements like, for example, unlock some cool new content in your game when like 50% of people have unlocked a certain achievement or <laughs> something like that. But what I showed you is the basic process which should be enough for 99% of indie games. One good thing to note is that the achievements can also be localized. So if you're planning to add localization to your game, it's worth considering localizing the achievements also. You can find a separate Steamworks section for that, but I won't go deeper into that in this video. Okay, that was all I have for this video. If this was helpful, please leave a like and if you aren't subscribed yet, feel free to do so so you can get more videos like this. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.